Right now at 5.30, searching for the fall foliage. We did find some, but we had to fly deep into New Hampshire to do it. Of course, this soaker of a summer really slowing down those fall colors. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Paula Eben. And of course, New England's fall foliage mm -hmm. generates billions yeah. of tourism dollars every year. But as WBZ's Laura Hayfley tells us, visitors so far are only getting disappointment. Brooksby Farm is open for business. It's nice when you wake up in the morning and you feel that crisp air and you look out and you're like, all right, fall is here. The popular PBD apple picking and pumpkin patches see thousands of visitors in the fall. It's just a fun time. We've got the barnyard animals here. It brings families up. We work all year for this time of year. But heavy rain made for a rough start to the season. Every weekend has had some kind of precipitation. The weather for people visiting hasn't been great, so come up when you can. In between rain drops, we're here. Rain is not the only problem. New England's biggest draw is nowhere to be seen. We are looking up and all you still see is green. According to the U.S. Forest Service, New England's colorful foliage generates around $8 billion in tourism revenue each year. Local farms like Brooksby here in Peabody rely on those autumn months to make the majority of their money, which means leaves need to change and fast. But how likely is that? This season will be a little bit later than normal. Boston University environmental professor Richard Primack explains trees are signaled to change colors when the climate is cold and dry, something that has yet to happen this season. Causing the trees not to perceive that autumn is, is happening yet. Professor Primack blames the problem on a product of circumstance. These are the types of conditions actually that are more associated with climate change, a warmer temperature in the autumn, and that also you have higher rainfall. But not all is lost. Those leaves will change, and in the meantime... We might not be getting one great display of color, but there's always something to see if you go for a walk in New England. In PBD, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.